As the trial of Johar Sarnayev got underway, jurors heard and saw first-hand accounts of the Boston Marathon bombing, including this previously unreleased video that shows both bombs going off. A lawyer for the 21-year-old flatly told the jury that her client did commit the crime, but says Sarnayev had fallen under the malevolent influence of his now-dead older brother, Tamerlan. She went on to say that the defense would not challenge the prosecution's testimony, would not try to sidestep the issue of his guilt, but ask the jury to please try to understand why he did it. One of the marathon victims, Karen Rand McWaters, described to jurors how she spent the day with her good friend, Crystal Campbell, showing this photo of the two of them. A short while later, her friend died next to her. McWaters had to have her left leg amputated. Her husband saying he's glad the judge denied motions to move the trial elsewhere. Well, it's right where, where it belongs, that's all. It's right where it should be, that's all. More video played in court showed the chaos as people ran to the victim's aid. The blast blew out the front of this clothing store window, and employees grabbed clothes to use as bandages. Sarnayev, shaggy-haired and goateed, slouched in his seat and showed little reaction to the testimony. The defense did not ask a single question of the victims who testified Wednesday, instead waiting to later try to convince the jury that no matter how bad the crime, Sarnayev does not deserve the death penalty. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Boston.